Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Cendric with Cendric Gaming. I'm coming to you today from the Enchanted server on the Performium network and we're just kind of going over and showcasing a little bit what uh, the Enchanted server has to offer and some of the builds on here. Uh, right now we are in spawn. Um, of course they have the rules up there as far as news, updates, and stuff like that, what's available. And spawn is pretty large. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the reason why I'm carrying a stick around is I can see how large a claim is. And you can see right there that the administration has claimed this, and that's 92,000 blocks long. Um, as we come through here, you'll follow that path around and come out here, and you'll run into the wonderful PvP arena. Um, the PvP arena is where the only place on the Enchanted server where you can engage in PvP. Um, you cannot be TP'd in here and you cannot TP into it. Um, when you use the slash warp PvP, it'll take you right here on the outside. And in order to get in, you will have to actually jump down like this now personally i typically never ever come in here just because you know of all the stuff that's around here um, there's quite a few different people running around here and just a whole bunch of different other things to come in here you you use the terrain to, well, as you can see, I kind of got killed there. Um, as you come through here, you uh, have a bunch of different things around. Uh, different players fighting and killing etc a uh, bunch of different terrain lava pits etc that you can go through and do a um, little bit of a parkour in there um, I typically don't recommend coming into PvP um, unless you intend to uh, well die uh, there's all kinds of little different things in here um, etc so you know just in general Come in here, have fun, but expect to die. And as you can see, we pop back up. And we run around. Now here's a nice little interesting thing that they uh, put in here. Let's see if I can get it to work. It's there, it just won't do it. And voila, there, you got pop up. nice little fun thing and then over here we have the winner of a bouncy house competition that we did um nice little fun thing to do and the bouncy house competition was won by alex c 1994 and you run through you know it's all filled with slime blocks so you know you can't walk um, but what's nice about it, especially if you have fly like I do, you run all the way up here and then you can fall down, boom, get a nice little good bounce out of it. Nice fun thing about slime blocks. Uh, we're going to kind of fly around, do a couple other little things here. Um, this one is kind of an interesting build. It goes all the way up to the top and basically it's a big gigantic glass tower um, And that's literally all it is uh, One of the nice things about our server is the fact that you can claim on it and Nobody can grief your claim so long as it is still claimed by you um, Claims do expire after 60 days unless you have over 5,000 claim blocks. If you have over 5,000 claim blocks, then your claim cannot be touched at all. It will never expire. Uh, here we have kind of an old ruined castle. I actually kind of like this build uh, because it looks like it's been here for a long time. And 
you know, just kind of has a visual aesthetic that you typically don't see from a lot of builds. Um, obviously this player is still active. Um, and they obviously have over 5k claim blocks total. This particular claim just happens to be 3,400. Um, me personally, I just like the aesthetics of this. And I will probably steal a little bit of this idea for one of my own keeps to have the vines running down it and crack stone and all that. Here we have what appears to be a Greek temple um that was built by snake noodles uh pretty impressive and pretty large build if you ask me um let's see if we can actually go inside if it's open to the public see what he's got in here Interesting, nice little thing. I'm not sure why he has a bunch of sponges up over there, but he does. So we won't be able to go upstairs and kind of see what's up there. So, but overall, nice little thing. This is a massive, massive Bowser. Um, obviously, it took a lot of time to build and quite frankly it's just massive uh, it was built by SJG Dragon and is currently owned by Taylord and most of this through here is wool um, as most people know you can dye wool different colors um, you can also clam dye the sheep itself and just harvest the wool from it in that color repeatedly uh, which when you're doing a massive build like this I definitely recommend just dyeing the sheep and shearing all that and one of the other things that we have on the server is um, a few of the players decided to make a public grinder um, this is still a work in progress um, however any player is welcome to come here um, and use the grinder for, you know, to gain XP or a bunch of other stuff. Uh, there are a bunch of shops below here. Um, and as the sign says, if something is out of stuff, um, is out of stuff, um, kill at the grinder and it will refill. Anyway, you come up into here. So to use the grinder, you come here, come up to the top of the steps. And typically, you can hit from right here, get all the XP, and as you can see, because of mob stacking, there are a ton of mobs in there. One other really cool feature over here that a lot of people don't see is, unfortunately, it's obscured by a cloud right now but a really big pixelated dragon. Um, this one was also built by SJG Dragon. Um, a nice little winged cat that he has going on here. That's kind of interesting. Uh, looks like he made it out of sand, wool, and a few other things and glass or no not glass he he used string to keep the sand up there nice so that's apparently something that even I didn't know about uh, you can apparently use string to keep sand in place so here we have another community uh, that was built. Uh, what I really enjoyed about his build, I'm guessing he got wore out with it and just needed a pretty big break, is he's building um, a giant pyramid uh, with some upside down pyramids on it. Uh, with, of course, beacons and all sorts of different places on it. Big giant lava ball. 
Um, but what's even more impressive is this water path. This water path that I'm following right here is literally a gigantic AFK pole. Um, you can literally sit in it and just go around in big circles. Uh, the whole purpose of that was uh, for them to be able to farm shulkers. He's got a few shulker spawners in here and literally uh, the shulkers will spawn up and start killing themselves on the cactuses. Um, which is kind of awesome. But the AFK pole comes around and drops you all the way down into here. And from here brings you all the way back up to that top point up there. Um, and of course you can get into the AFK pole you know other ways. You don't have to fly into it. Um, you do have to have the ability to get in here and get up here, which, you know, if you're trusted on this claim or, you know, other things you can do, uh, build himself some little farms there and just a whole bunch of other cool things. Um, anyway, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this, uh, give me a like and a subscribe. And if you want to see one of your builds featured on one of these on one of these videos, uh, please message me on Performium and let me know the grid coordinates, or you know, message me on uh, the Performium Discord. Uh, look for Cendric. Anyway, thank you. You all have a great day.